Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use a shared Canva link as a template. Maybe someone you know created a document in Canva and they have shared the link with you. Well, what do you do with this link? Or maybe you purchased a calendar from Etsy uh, and it is saved in Canva and you're not sure how to use it. Well, I'm going to show you how to use a shared Canva link in the Canva website. Let's take a look. Once you have a Canva template link that someone has shared with you, you just need to click on the link or copy and paste it into your browser like I'm doing here. You'll see a screen telling you that someone has shared this template with you. Click on the Use Template for New Design. If you haven't already logged into Canva, it will ask you to log in or create an account. Simply log into Canva, that's Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. And then the first thing I like to do once I open this template is to give it a name because it's going to have a name of copy of whatever the document name is that somebody shared with you. So go ahead and change the name of your document. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so I can see this a little better and do my editing more easily. And the first thing I want to do is change the date on this particular document. So I'll click on that text and you'll see a box will appear and that's a text box. You double click on it and then you can just start typing. You can backspace, delete, all the normal text typing features. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then just go through and change whatever it is that you want to on this document. Now these changes will be saved and they're kind of permanent uh, once you save the document. <clears throat> so you can always make a copy of this document and save it as a template. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to show you how to edit a Canva template that someone has shared with you. So here I took my mouse and I drugged select all the text and I'm resizing it to be a much larger uh, gift tag. And so I'm printing this out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I want it to be, or actually I'm going to print it out on cardstock, but I want it to be nice and big. So of course I'm going to change the name to the recipient's name. And here you can see the text field, the text is wrapping. I don't really want it to do that. So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to change my font size. I'll just click on the minus to make this font size smaller until I have it the size I want. And now I'm going to change the name of who this handmade item was made by. Again, you just double click into that field and just start typing over the text, delete it, backspace, whatever your normal method of editing text is. And there I have this card. I'm ready to print it. So click on share. I'm going to download it. I want to download it as a PDF, so select PDF standard and then flatten the PDF. And I just want the very first page in this document, so I'm going to select that page and then click on download. And I'll get a little status telling me that my PDF is being downloaded and lo and behold I get a notice telling me that the download is complete. I can click on that and it will open up my PDF and I can print it directly from there. I can go back to my template and make any additional changes or make another gift tag or whatever I want to do. It just depends on what template that you have. And again, like I said, at the very beginning, the first thing I did was change the name of this document. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to change up. Maybe I don't like the fonts, so I'm just going to change some of these fonts. Again, you just click once to select the text, go up to the font drop down, and then on the left side, a box will appear with a long list of all the available fonts. Now, some of the fonts require that you have a Canva membership, and a lot of them are free, so just be aware of that. Again, if I want to change, delete all of this, I'm just going to highlight everything that I want deleted and then I can just press delete. 
But say I want my Made with Love text to be a different font. I'm going to click on the font. My font list will show up and you'll see the difference between a premium font and a free font. The premium fonts will say that they're a premium font and they'll have like a little crown beside them. But anyway, you can change it to whatever's available, whatever style that you like. You can even change the coloring if you want. If you're going to print this out on a colored printer, you can certainly um, change the colors. Okay, and that's my tutorial on how to use a shared Canva link that someone has shared with you. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have questions about it, please leave them in the comments below and I will be glad to answer them. If you found this video helpful, <clears throat> excuse me, be sure to like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll know when more tutorials are made available, and please come visit me over on the Birch Cottage blog, sign up for my newsletter where you'll be the first to know when there are new creative ideas made available. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please come visit me over on the Birch Cottage blog. Thank you.